Thank you for listening to the podcast. Make sure to hit that like button, share the videos, and subscribe. Continuing on with the burning question series for each NFL franchise, hitting the Cincinnati Bengals next. How ready will Joe Burrow be in his first year? I think he's going to be extremely ready. Now, I think you're going to see some growing pains as you would with any rookie quarterback. The greatest quarterbacks of all time have had tough rookie campaigns. So I don't think that's going to be an issue, but we are going to see them. But really, we have the game film to go on from what Joe Burrow accomplished in college. That's really all we have right now. I'm sure he's working to try to get into the best shape he can possibly be in, to be the best player he can be. I feel like he is that kind of a player. So that isn't going to be an issue. But obviously, there's no preseason this year. There's nothing we can see on him uh, to really judge at the NFL level yet. But if we're just talking strictly what we saw from him in college, you got to love what you saw. Deadly accurate. Uh, that was the most impressive trait that I saw from him on top of vision, uh, you know, standing in the pocket, not afraid to take a hit. Those I was able to check those boxes as well. Uh, footwork. Uh, but the accuracy was something that really stood out to me on film and the ball placement and how easy he made it for his receivers. Uh, it was very impressive. Then I look at what he's stepping into with the Bengals. The one problem is going to be the offensive line, uh, particularly that right side. Uh, it's not the best. It's one of the worst right sides in football. I, Hopefully Jonah Williams can be a legit starting left tackle for them. That's also something that's unknown. Uh, but I like the left side. I do. But the right side has some issues. And, you know, that hurts the run game as well. You know, Mixon's going to have to do a lot more on his own. Uh, he's not going to have that offensive line to lean on. Uh, but with that being said, uh, as far as the weapons go for Joe Burrow and his progress, you can't ask for much more. Uh, you know, sure, you'd want another guy or two, a tight end or, um, you know, an extra receiver. But the point, I mean, look, I don't like the pick of T. Higgins. I'm on record in saying that. Uh, but A.J. Green and Tyler Boyd is enough. Uh, A.J. Green, when healthy, is a legit thoroughbred in this league, extremely hard to bring down. And I think if he's healthy, he could find himself easily in the top 10 receivers again. Uh, but the supporting cast for weapons is good around Burrow. Um, Tyler Boyd has shown that he can go for a thousand yards. Um, AJ Green can be that all around uh, physical player for them on the outside. Auden Tate is a physical receiver in himself, which I think is going to be an asset. I think it's going to be more of an asset than what T Higgins is going to be, believe it or not. And then Mixon, you know, Mixon is a playmaker in his own right out of the backfield, but he can also catch. And that's big for Joe Burrow to have two, three options to go with the football. That is going to help his development as a quarterback. And he better get it out quick because the offensive line is going to be a little bit of an issue. But as of right now, if somebody asks me, can Joe Burrow elevate this team? Is he going to be better than Andy Dalton? Um, I'm going to say yes. I think he's going to have a decent rookie campaign. I can't say that they're a playoff team yet. But I do think that they have found their quarterback in the future as of right now. You know, if Joe Burrow goes out there and plays absolutely terrible and it's his fault and the film shows that, uh, then I'm going to have a change of heart here. But if I'm judging off of what I saw from college, the weapons that he has around him, he's got a really good chance to have a good rookie campaign. With that, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.